I'd forgive you for never being able to see this gun in your raids. The Ash-12 is probably one of the most underutilized guns at Escape from Tarkov. In fact, I can't remember the last time I genuinely saw another player running it that wasn't actually just Gluha himself. Now, you might have seen the gun on Gluha, the scab boss on reserve, and it is one of his personal favorites. Now, this amazing bullpup rifle is widely misunderstood in the community. I think a lot of people do not understand that the gun cannot simply just be full auto. Although it has the option to go full auto, the recoil is just so insane that it's simply not an option unless your barrel is pressed up against their chest. Now I know this is a bad thing, but if you keep this gun in single fire, it actually is really something special. That is because there's a round that fires out of it, the 12.7 by 55 mil PS12B, which actually has an insane amount of flesh damage, making it really strong, almost like AP20. Now, one thing about the Ash-12, though it may have a lot of recoil, it actually has one of the fastest time to kills in CQC, especially since that bullet does have so much flesh damage. It also has a decent amount of pen. Now, PS-12B actually has 102 flesh damage with 46 pen, meaning that if not on the first shot, would definitely get close to penning level 5 armor on the second. The biggest problem with the Ash-12 is not only just the recoil, but it's mainly the fact that A, it's subsonic, and B, it has limited mag size. However, the fact that it is a bullpup rifle and originally designed for hostage situations means it is nice and compact, and especially if you don't run it suppressed, as you can push around corners and don't have to worry about your gun sticking up. So enjoy some raids with my favorite bullpup in the game right now, the Ash-12. Oh my god. Before we get in the video here today, I do want to remind you that all of these raids here today were actually filmed live on my Twitch. The link for that will be featured down in the description below if you want to swing by the stream, ask me any questions, or just hang out and chat. He's got KS. Yeah, I know what he's doing. He's just fucking hiding behind the door. No, I got him. Generally, KS boys don't play that aggressively, but I'm okay with it. Head eyes magnet. Did he die to head eyes? Damn, man's got some loot. Do you hear that, chat? Fuck it, I'm going for it. Leroy Jenkins, bitch! You just don't know how to wine and dine a girl, bro. Take her back to your pad, whip out some sardines and warm milk. Man, she's gonna be so horny. Is it Scab Boss, guys? a lot of pivoting. That might be scab boss chat. I like this glue, huh? I don't want to be here. I don't know what you've heard before in the rambling glue, huh? But I was definitely not role playing as you earlier. I would never try to take your place, okay, champion? This guy could grab you by the scruff of your neck, chat, and pop your head off like a grape. His veins are bigger than my biceps. Please die in the toilet like a pro player. How about instead of dying on the toilet, I take a poop on your head? <laughs> deal? Alright, we got a deal.
Jeez. That one there. Ah, oh, fuck me. It was one of his boys. Chat, I don't even know if I want to keep killing these guys. Like, look at my bag of loot. There's definitely some things we could toss, but it's like just thinking to myself, it's like, I don't want to deal with the player scabs, you know? Like, I kind of need to get out of here ASAP. Nah, fuck this. I'm sorry, chat. I can't. I'm not staying in this raid. Some fucking loser just keeps sodomizing the button. I just can't deal with it. Player scab, probably. Whoa! Holy fucking shit! Get the fuck out of me, man. Monka S. That's an SVD chat. Oh, fuck. You know who that is? Oh, can't. Ah, oh, I got too hydration. Leave me alone. Jack Brigham. Ooh! There's a lot of pump of barbums there, chat. You know what? I think we just fucking dip. I think we dip. Ah, oh, fuck me now. They're gonna push me, aren't they? Alright, open her up. Open it. Open sesame. They know, dude. They fucking know I need to go. You pricks! Leave me alone! What? Well done. Ooh. I'm just gonna push the bathroom and YOLO. Oh, he might have actually died. Pre-firing the ash? Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to go too hard. You only got twenty rounds, right? Holy fucking shit! Oh my god, I suck. Oh, wow. What are you pricks? Player scavs, what are you good for? Jeez. One job, you melons. Bring your boy a drink for fuck's sake. Oh, he bought me a nice rig, though. Oh, that's Gluha. Gluha's still alive. Alright, well, we're gonna try and pop this guy over here. Well, that was, uh, insane. You think I've got big enough balls to try and slot an aid through there to get him to run? I don't know if it's balls or incredible stupidity. Kobe. It worked. Good night, Gluha. Watch out. All right. Hey. Yoink. Ah, oh, you would be running M61, you dirty slut. You dirty, dirty slut. Blue heart, you ain't nothing but a bitch. Get out of here. So what do you guys think about the Ash 12? Do you think that a lot of people in the community just don't understand this gun? Or are they simply just too used to no recoil guns? It's, I guess simply because the fact it has that recoil, it's always gonna be slept on within the community. I would actually recommend always running this gun in single fire up until around about the 25 meter mark because when you go full auto it does have a lot of kick but it will bring the person down very quickly. I'll attach some builds down in the description below if you want to see how I run the gun. That's it for this video. If there's a specific gun you'd like to see me run next, let me know in the comments down below and I may consider running it in the next video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.